political community, President of the European Parliament, I don't see you, but I presume you're here, uh, President of the European Council, President of the European Commission. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it is indeed a great honor and a pleasure for the Queen and for myself to welcome you to Spain, to this wonderful Andalusian city of Granada, and to this magical site, the Alhambra. We are all proud here to host you, to host this third edition of the summit of the EPC during our presidency of the European Council. Few cities in Europe, allow me to say, <laughs> would be more appropriate than Granada to host this summit. As you have surely realized, the city is proud of its history, which has made it into a unique example of cultural fusion in Europe. The Alhambra might be the most visible trace of this rich past of Granada, of Andalusia, and of Spain. But it is far from being the only one. This place, this city, has truly enriched our culture and our language, our music, our cuisine, so many aspects, it shaped our character in so many ways we still feel today. Openness towards other people still defines Granada today. You might have seen many young people around the streets and noticed they speak many different foreign languages. That is no wonder because the University of Granada is constantly at the top of Spanish rankings when it comes to the Erasmus Plus program both in terms of students that are sent abroad and those that are coming here to, st to study. The same can be said about Spain as a whole. We rank constantly among the most popular destinations to study in. We're proud of the status as a, shall we say, European public square where young minds from all over the continent come to study among their peers, to nurture their curiosity, to discover what their interests are, and uh, to shape themselves as European citizens. Europe, perhaps more so than any other continent, is bound to find these places free of free thought and discussion. We are a continent with a long common history, also a very complex one, and today still with sometimes differing national positions and cultural references. Perhaps the combination of all that history and our diverse views and sensitivities may also be the very reason why over the last decades we have managed to coalesce and unite around our common values, around an inspiration for true peace, not based on the force of one actor, but on the free consent of all, large and small, around an inspiration for true democracy, as a system that best respects our diversity, both within our borders and across the, our continent. We are undoubtedly a political community with shared values, aspirations, and interests. Therefore, here is where the EPC reveals itself as an indispensable tool for all our countries, and that is why Spain has supported its creation from the outset. It provides a forum to meet and discuss the issues that are important to us so that we may reach common positions and the European voice may be heard on the world stage. It is also a forum to help us devise continent-wide projects that might further our common prosperity in areas such as infrastructure or telecommunica telecommunications, among many others. Let me end my words here. I will just conclude by saying that we hope the spirit of Granada, the visual reminder of what diversity and tolerance can bring about when we channel them as an advantage, as a resource, has inspired the talks you have had and will have in the future. Our best wishes also for the informal meetings of heads of state and government tomorrow. Welcome again to this beautiful and magical city. Thank you for honoring us with your presence, and please enjoy this evening all together. Thank you. Thank you.